We're in Cincinnati, home of the Cincinnati Mangles at the Concrete Jungle. You know, people say this town is a real hellhole. <laughs> they couldn't be more right. You know, my Goober driver almost fell into this giant sinkhole on the way to the hotel. Hey, don't surprise me. One of Satan's favorite cities to hang in. Makes sense he's got his own highway to hell, right? Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Baltimore Razors take on the Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Hot, hot one, hot two, hey! If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and a lot. And the defense goes for the jugular and rush. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. Second down and four. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Third down and eight. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. See this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The 
That ball just slides through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be... And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. With a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. QB would like. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and long. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost ejection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Touchdown! Oh, he ran no. through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that Keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down and six. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, nice hit. Third down and five. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. 
He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh could it be mine? And that'll be second down and four. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Seven. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is gonna try and score. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, with a brutal hit. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one. Hey. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third and two. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me that Tom Hanks, man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Third 
third down and forever. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost dirty trick. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. The 10. First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, telling me. Nice run. No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And they call it ginormous. And that hit jars the ball loose. And it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Second down and six. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and nine. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be up. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And he picks up maybe four on that play. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. 
Second down and six. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> one yard on that pass. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that. But she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. That play was like the offense was playing rock, paper, scissors, and the defense was playing rocket launcher. And now the defense has the ball because they came to play. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I don't want a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard that when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Mm. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. And that'll bring up third and one.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. No! Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trip. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Oh, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And he scores! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are... Look out. That's an all-out attack on the QB. He's on the... And look at the QB run for his life. He's so fast. Nah, he just found out about that cheerleader's pregnancy test. I'd run too. I, I know. She's huge. <laughs> First and goal. Hot one, hot two, hot three. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell it me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his back. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Well, that two-point conversion attempt failed miserably. I mean, that was just terrible. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Ooh. 
third and two. Cornerback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. Third down and eight. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Now, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. to the defense with that boneheaded lateral. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. half of this well it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it you got to keep your eye on the ball come on you dirtbag you gotta make that catch third down and the QB is saying his prayers First down. See if they can get something going here. First and eight to go. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good.
Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. No, oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Hey, okay, good. Second down and long. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Second down in a lot. And the defense goes for the jugular. And then on sportsmanlike play of the day, brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous dirty trick there, Bricks. Uh, ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. First down and nine. And he snags it for six! Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? 
straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. Hey, if you kill a ref, it's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hand. Do something about that ref, you pussies. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> first down and forever. First and ten. Boom! Second down and six. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and six. that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Third down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. In a hurry-up offense, where's out the defense since they can't rest their players? Great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it, that's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The kicker is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident.
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and five. And they run it for a couple of yards. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The Cincinnati Mangles mangle the opposition today and come away with a victory. And let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Yeah, right. Go home to your fans, cars, million dollar mansions, endorsement deals, and your beautiful trophy wives, you losers. At least they're not attached to a loser like me. All right, losers, let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...